Hi everyone, it's Yanis here. We all tend to associate failure with something bad, and who can blame us? It's a terrible feeling to work towards something and then come up short on the target. It was my final year as a junior in athletics, and my goal was to participate in World Junior Championship in Beijing, China. I was preparing for 3000m steeplechase run, as that was the discipline that I felt most strongest with. The goal was set almost one year before competition, right after the previous season ended, so I can have enough time to prepare for the big event. All the season, that was the only thing in my mind, so I put in the work running 300 plus kilometers per month to build a base and train my heart. And every time when things got tough, I would remind myself of the goal to participate in a world championship. When the season started, I was feeling strong. The same year, I won national championship and I was the fastest junior in my country, winning 5000m run as well as 3000m steeplechase run. But that is not how you qualify for world championships. To qualify, you have to complete a competition normative. And for me, that meant running 3000m steeplechase in under 9 minutes and 10 seconds. Unfortunately for me, I was still miles away from that. So far, my best time was 9 minutes and 45 seconds. The season was coming towards the end and my chances to complete the normative became slimmer and slimmer. In my last competition, where I was able to complete the normative, I ran 3000m steeplechase in 9 minutes and 20 seconds falling 10 seconds short to achieve my goal. That is a major failure, but I don't just see the failure in that. I also see all the lessons that failure has taught me through the life. So I want to share my perspective on failure and how I believe that failure is actually good for success. So let's dive in. Number one, failure builds character. More you fail and keep going, stronger you become. When we fail, it's hard, but with that hardship comes strength that otherwise would not have been acquired. Think about the exam that you have failed and you have to reset it again. You pull out the books and go through the materials one more time. Then you try to sit the exam again, but fail. When you study third time, you pay extra attention to the details and dedicate even more time. With the third time, you pass it. In the end, your knowledge is stronger about the subject, but not only that, you also prove to yourself that you can go back and finish things. And that is more important than just the fact that you pass the exam. You build a character and attitude that will help you in other life situations. Number two, failure creates opportunities. The only way to fail is to try, and the only way to succeed is through the failure. Failure is not something that you should be ashamed of. Instead, I think that you should be proud of all the things that you have tried even if the outcome was unsuccessful. Especially when you're starting your business, it's common to be confused about the direction you should be going. And thinking about what to do is not going to help you. You have to take action. Once you take action, you might fail. But with that failure, you will discover other opportunities that you didn't even know exist. Number three, failure spawns creativity. When all the ordinary options are taken, then you have to be creative. When you start your business, you'll be competing against other businesses that have been around for a long time. When you're in a position with a low budget and close to failing your business venture, then you will naturally become creative, because that is your only option. Also, when you fail the business and then look back to assess the reasons of why you failed, you'll be often able to pinpoint the areas that didn't work and why you failed. This in turn can give you creative ideas on how to build and structure your business the next time. Number four, failure changes our perspective. Reality is usually different from what people tell you. Our reality is shaped by information that we have. We read books, watch educational TV shows and socialize with other people. But unless we actually confirm the data by ourselves, we can't be sure about it. Your friend might tell you that the best way to make money is to trade. Trading is indeed very lucrative business, so you give it a try to see it for real. You take a training course and invest in trading software. Three months later, you have lost all your investments and you're left broke. I think your perspective of the trading will have changed. Three months ago, you thought that trading will make you money, but now you think that trading is a waste of time. Number five. 
failure gives us feedback. When you're doing something wrong, failure will correct you. It is interesting to look at the failure as an indicator. When you fail, it's an indication that you need to adjust your direction. Sometimes the direction is the correct one, but you might need to adjust your approach. Take different actions to achieve your goals. If you want to build a personal brand, then there are multiple ways of achieving that goal. You can choose a different platform. It can be YouTube, Instagram, blog, etc. You can also choose to target different audiences and what content you want to create. Let your audience be the judge of your content. They will tell you if you're moving in the right direction or if you need to adjust your message or content. Number six, failure is leading you to success. Without failure, there is no success. I can't name a single person that became successful without failing. It's a fact that you'll be failing before you become successful. No planning and preparation will help you to get away from failing at some point. No matter how much you prepare, you'll fail at something. So instead of forever planning and preparing, you have to take action and accept the failure as a part of the journey. As you can see through these points, failure is nothing that you should be afraid of. All the failures are your assets, your life's experience. I am certain that I wouldn't be as strong person as I am today if I wouldn't have experienced so many failures in my life. If you want to learn more about benefits of failure, I suggest you to read the book called The Black Box Thinking by Matthew Said. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you want to manage your time better, have more structure in your life and achieve your goals, make sure you check out my time planning application. You can set goals and track progress towards them, create time blocks and build your own daily structure as well as log your time and measure your performance. Best of all, it's totally free. So press here to check it out right now. I'm working on new videos every day. So be sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.